The goal of this research is to bring advances in modern seismology that have been developed for the exploration of oil and gas reservoirs or to image the Earth's deep interior and bring those advances to in particular medical imaging but more broadly to really improve diagnostics tremendously. In seismology we consider sound waves that travel in gases and liquids, the shear waves that travel only in solid materials, and the mass density of the material. We work with these types of waves because they contain valuable information about the Earth's interior. The human body consists of many different elements. Each of these transmits seismic waves in their own unique fashion. And these subtle variations in wave speed are exactly what we are trying to image. Unlike classical ultrasonic imaging techniques, which only provide a picture that shows you where waves are reflected, we use a similar transducer to record the waves, but we then actually simulate the full physics of the wave propagation in the human body. The end result of the imaging is a three-dimensional image, not just a cross-section, not just a two-dimensional plane. And that image can be viewed any way you like. It can be rotated. You can look at it from any direction that you desire. These images clearly determine what are veins, what is bone, what is skin, because each element of the human body has very unique physical characteristics. Every pixel in the image is assigned very specific variations in wave speed as well as the mass density. And we then compare the results of those simulations with the data to then improve the model. And that information is much more diagnostic, much more specific than a qualitative picture with just black and white on a gray scale. With these techniques, a tumor would present itself in terms of very specific wave speeds and densities. And so there's an opportunity here to really change the way in which ultrasonic imaging is currently done at a fundamental level. Mm -hmm.